All right, welcome. We're going, uh, going to start the February 27th City Council meeting. Um, to start us off, I'd like to welcome Pastor Bill Quinn from Trinity Presbyterian Church to do the opening prayer. Afterwards, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Seeing Pastor oh. Quinn, I'll ask uh, Brother Corey Martin if he'll lead us uh, Bow our heads, open our hearts. Most Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you've made, Lord. Um, let us rejoice and be glad in it, Lord. We ask you today to come to us and give us wisdom to make the decisions that will uh, make your heart happy, Lord. We ask you to continue to bless this community and every venture and all the business that we take care of today, Lord. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, you may be seated. All right. All right, council, uh, starting off, um, I will, uh, first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the February 13th regular city council meeting and the minutes from the February 13th work session. Make a uh, motion we approve the minutes as presented. All right. Uh, second. I've got a motion and a second. Any additions or changes to those minutes? All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carries. All right. Item number two is the mayor's report. Mayor Sullivan. I'm going to do my best. So, um, <laughs> So tonight, I just want to, um, before we meet the before we meet on the in March, we have a couple things going on. We have opening day of softball, which is um, March the fourth, which is coming up this Saturday. We'll also have opening day of baseball and spring soccer's going on. Arts and crafts will be coming up the next three weeks, so it's just a great time to be in Fairhope. Everything looks so beautiful with all the flowers blooming and just spring um, is in the air. So look forward to welcoming all those guests into town and look forward to watching, you know, some baseball and softball and soccer and um, seeing all the families out at the parks. So I want to thank the Parks and Rec Department and all the city facilities who have been, you know, working so hard to get the, the fields ready. Mm -hmm. You know, we have new restroom facilities at Founders Park. Um, we also have new, new fields and new restroom facilities at Volana Park. So there's just been a lot going on. They've been working really hard to get ready. So thank them for what they do if you see them around town. And um, just look forward to seeing every, all the families out at the parks. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, item number three is public participation for agenda items. If, uh, so if you have something to discuss, item five through 13 now is your opportunity reminder there will be an additional public participation at the end of the meeting all right seeing no one i will close public participation item number four is council comments councilman martin um I hope everyone enjoyed the Mardi Gras season. I think, um, I think the mayor just tapped on it. Um, just want to thank all of the uh, operational uh, people that helped do that. I know a lot of people enjoy it, but there's a lot of work that go into that. Ms. Page, that's why she's breathing lighter now. <laughs> that's a lot of work, and they do such a good job. I just want to give them kudos for all the things that they do. Yeah, I second Councilman Martin, yeah. and, and um, yeah. beyond that, I don't have any comments. Yeah, I think I think you guys are both exactly right. And, and and to hit on what the mayor said again, we're about to enter a very busy season for the city of Fairhope. Spring is here, so we've got opening day of baseball, softball. We've got the arts and crafts festival coming up in March. Um, just a lot of things going on. It takes a lot of work from a lot of people to make all of that stuff happen on the city's behalf. And so because you don't always get the the appreciation right. uh, that you probably deserve I want you to know, want everybody who participates in all that to know that that we do recognize that and we do truly appreciate all that you do to make the city what it is um especially our four new baseball fields <laughs> um all right, so I will close council comments and move into the agenda. Item number five is a resolution that the city council authorizes submission of an application to ADEM requesting a grant funded through GoMesa for additional litter abatement and authorizes that Mayor Sherry Sullivan to sign all necessary grant documents on behalf of the city. 
Uh, guys, this is something obviously we discussed in work session for our litter interceptors. Uh, and this is a 100% matched uh, grant if we were able to obtain it. So, so moved. Okay. All right. Second. I've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. All right. Motion carries. Uh, Council, I'd also like to ask you guys if you if you would mind uh, maybe taking something a little out of order for us. We've got item number 13, which is uh, involving our recreation department and the rec board. Um, if I could get one of you guys to maybe make a motion to entertain the idea of taking that taking that now instead of having these guys wait until the end. I don't have a problem with that. Council Chair, I, what we'll do is suspend the rules and ask for a change of order as far as the agenda is concerned. Okay. I second that item. All right, I've got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. All right. Uh, item number 13 uh, is a recreation board recommendation uh, to, to name uh, a couple of the fields here in Fairhope. Uh, one is that the high school baseball field be named Mike Fillingham Field at Volanta Park. And the other is that the older youth baseball fields be named Van Salt's Youth Baseball Complex at Volanta Park. And I know we've got some representatives of the rec board here. I'd like to welcome you guys and come up if you like to say something. Madam Mayor, how are you? Gentlemen Council, distinguished councilmen, thank you all so much for the time. Um, I think this should be an easy vote. Um, you know, we, we, we have a lot of youth in here that, that in our city that is a, really a driving force in what we do, and they, they become a driving force in what we do and they get older. Uh, I know there's a club environment involved, and I'm just as guilty because my kids play both club sports and rec sports. And uh, by the way, thank you for, I'm not gonna filibuster, this is a soccer <laughs> event. <laughs> so, but uh, I just wanna throw a couple of stats to you real quick. So this gentleman, uh, Mike Phil and Jim, has been a volunteer for 41 years. Volunteer, meaning if he made a dollar this year, it'll be a dollar more than he made in the past 40 years. Two state championships in baseball, three state finalists, which I was a part of. Um, I, that kind of gives me nightmares sometimes because I, I was part of that team that lost to Grissom. But anyway, uh, numerous area, and cha area championships, region championships, collegiate players, some professional players, just in, in, but in general, just an overall up and all, just an upward and onward. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little. He's a he's a he's a very influential person for me. Um, he just genuinely cares about the youth of Fairhope, and he is the ultimate rec guy. He is the core of Fairhope. And uh, uh, Councilman Martin, you you made a great comment at the last rec board meeting that this will be the first. I think we've done a really good job in terms of naming conventions regarding roads, buildings, structures, at the elective facility, I, I get it. Majors Field, perfect. Joe Dean, Fieldhouse, perfect. Um, this will be the first homeless facility where someone can actually enjoy it, right? Um, and he'll continue to drive youth and provide just an education of life lessons. So um, again, I think this is a, an ideal opportunity for someone to enjoy what they have accomplished over 40 years as a volunteer coach and continue to enjoy that and, and build upon that environment. So I'll yield that to council. Thank you. Thank you um, uh, council, I mean, you know, looking at these, the, the names that are on this list, uh, I had the pleasure of serving uh, on the rec board for, for four years uh, with, with Van when he was head of the rec board. Obviously, he was involved in rec sports long before I ever showed up. <laughs> um, and his impact is truly one that 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 is felt among so many people that, that got to experience that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Coach Phil and Jim, you know, if you go to the rec center now, you'll see him from time to time. Um, I, I had the privilege of letting one of my children throw the first pitch out at one of the high school games. 
and, and, and even the way he makes the little kids feel out there as if they're part of the team and welcomes them out there as a part of it, you know, it just shows that, it, that, that, that he's doing all these things for the right reason and truly has a servant's heart in doing what he's doing. And so I, I know it's not a common thing to name something after somebody that's still with us, but I think having the opportunity to recognize somebody while they're still here, to let them know while they're here how truly appreciative we are of what their contribution has been, I think that's a great opportunity for us, and I, I'd be very much in favor of being able to do that. I if I may, Council Chair. Please. Yeah, this is this is something that came and and um, and came to the table's unanimous vote. Um, you know, I, I learned so much from just sitting at the table from some of the guys <laughs> um, that have been around since I don't know what years, maybe the thirties, forties. <laughs> so um, Van, from what I understand, he pretty much created that youth baseball league down there. Um, he's had very instrumental. In uh, a hand in that, and 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 Coach Phil and Jim is still here, and he's not posthumously gaining his flowers, which is very unique, you know. Um, so, you know, I, I'm glad that Coach is able to get his flowers while while he's still here with us, and I think there's no better uh, name, you know, to get named a field after than these two guys, um, because of the service that they've provided for the kids and I love the kids as well so you, you there's nothing like someone that actually consistently over 40 plus years consistently even when your children are gone and not and you're still being involved to continue to give that spirit to the community there's some type of love there and God exists you know so so this is where we are so he gets his flowers now and I think it's a very good um, um, offer on our part as a city, and I think his family should be very well appreciative. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I, just, I know that both those names have, have been around a long time and a lot of service, and, and just appreciate all the years of volunteering. So. Mayor Sullivan? Yeah. I just wanted to add about both um, Coach Phil and Jamie and Van Saltz. Both of them were here. I mean, as long as I've been growing up, Van had a, actually had an Eastern Shore Sporting Goods downtown. So he was involved in every sport across Fairhope, whether it be soccer, baseball, softball, he was there. He was providing uniforms, batting helmets, whatever it might be. But he's always been involved youth, in youth sports, had always been involved. Served on the rec board for I don't even know how many years and helped create um, the tournament for the state tournament for Dixie Youth. Went on to serve on the Dixie Youth Board at the national level and just really took youth baseball to a, another level for Fairhope. Um, him and his wife, Brenda, and his kids, they spent a lot of time at that park, and I'm so happy that we could do something to honor him. He's very, very deserving. Um, and Mike, Phil, and Jim, and Kay, I mean, they were kind of a fixture at the ballpark for me. When I was in high school, we played at the field that is now a parking lot. Um, <laughs> softball and baseball was right across, um, right across the way, but they were always at the park, always there cheering everybody on, whether it was softball or baseball, and there was not a time whether we were traveling, playing at home, it didn't matter, they were there. And you knew they were just gonna be there. And he continues to be there over and over again for our kids. And to have two men that we can honor like this for their volunteerism in particular and for their service to our community, I'm so proud to be able to do that. And thank you for considering it, and thank you to the rec board for bringing that forward. I think it's a great recommendation and, and something that we should definitely do. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Mayor. All right. All right, uh, Council. So this is this has come to us as a recommendation. Um, we can make a motion. I, I would like to make a motion for immediate consideration. Uh, the reason that I would make that motion for immediate consideration, uh, Council, as um, the opening day, I think is is March the 11th, and it would be, I think. I, I don't think you need a, an a motion for immediate consideration because it's not an ordinance. Okay. I, I think you well, just make a motion to approve these to, recommendations and okay. then we're good to go. Well, whatever that consideration is, I apologize for yeah. parliamentary. Um, my, my, uh, it is a resolution. But, yes, so let's make a recommendation to move forward. Uh, okay. Second that. Uh, All right. Any further discussion? No. All right. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. All right. Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Appreciate right. it. Uh, all right.
Item number six, moving along, is a resolution that the City of Ferryup hereby terminates the contract titled Annual Contract for Fire Extinguisher Inspection Services between the City of Fairhope and Fire and Safety Commodities, Inc. for termination for convenience clause found in standard terms and conditions, item 6B, clause 57, and authorizes Mayor Sherry Sullivan to sign the necessary paperwork. Okay. Councilman, I will- uh, so I'll make a motion. Enter. Yeah, second. I've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carries. Item number seven is a resolution that Mayor Sherry Sullivan is hereby authorized to execute a contract with Tischler Bice Inc. to perform professional financial consulting services to up to study update of impact fees with a not to exceed amount of $72,160. So moved. Second. All right, got a motion and a second. Uh, we did discuss this in the work session. This is, this is something that we are required to do periodically and this is just us making sure we're covering our bases and doing everything we're supposed to do. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carries. Item number eight is a resolution that the City of Fairhope approves a selection uh, to hire a professional engineer for Fairhope Municipal Pool investigative phase and hereby authorizes uh, Mayor Shearer Sullivan to execute a contract with Watermark Design with a cost of $37,500. Um, I'm make a motion we approve. All right. Second. I've got a motion and a second. And again, this goes back to the, the work that needs to be done up at the municipal pool. We've talked about what we expect needs to be done. This will be the first phase and actually mapping out what that is and getting us a plan moving forward. All right. I've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. All right. Motion carries. Uh, item number nine is a resolution to award to Jerry Pate Company for Irrigation Pump System Control Panel Replacement for Quail Creek Golf Course with a total bid proposal not to exceed $30,096.50. Uh, the mayor told us in the work session we had a pump go out, irrigation pump, so if we go out, if we go a long time without rain, our beautiful green golf course might turn back to what it was a short time ago. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion. Oh. Any opposed say nay. None. Motion carries. Very good. Item number 10 is a resolution that the City of Ferryup approves the procurement of 44 loads of washed beach sand to replenish the sand at Magnolia Beach on Ferryup's waterfront with Highway 27 Dirt, Inc. with a total cost not to exceed $19,800. So moved. Second. All right, I got a motion and a second. Uh, Richard, can you buy unwashed sand? Uh, our permitting requires us to put clean sand. Okay, just check. Uh, <laughs> I think he, he, he took you seriously. Where's, <laughs> I mean, it says wash. <laughs> it says washed <laughs> beach sand. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, as opposed to kitty litter <laughs> beach sand that we might. I, I, okay. All right, I've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. Motion carries. All right, item number 11 is a resolution that the City of Fairhope approves and adopts to include the use of a boat slip at the Fairhope docks as part of its agreement with the Fairhope Volunteer Fire Department for the safety of the citizens of Fairhope and others in the fire jurisdiction and waives the annual fee of $3,360. So moved. Second. All right, I've got a motion and a second. Council, any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. All right, motion carries. Item number 12 is a resolution that the City Council approves the compensation and job classification plan along with the grade order sheet be amended and approved to fund a lead attraction a lead electrician grade 8 and defund a licensed electrician grade 11 positions in the electric department and the job description and pay grade for same. Uh, Mr. Patterson was kind enough to explain this to us in the work session. This will allow us to get two separate crews out to take care of all city items that need to be taken care of. I move on the resolution. Second. All right, I've got a motion in the second council. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. 
Motion carries. Uh, item number 13 has been addressed, and so I will move on to item number 14, which is public participation for non-agenda items. Uh, if you have anything, please come forward, state your name and address for the record, and you will have three minutes. Hello, I'm Jesse Patterson, 10630, County Road 1, Fairhope. I just wanted to get uh, a comment from the council about the status and uh, development of White Avenue Park. Is that going to go forward? Or are we moving forward with that? Uh, Jesse, I, I'll, I'll comment on that. Bless you. Bless you. Um, we just, you and I discussed this in between work session and the council meeting, and in and it's been my understanding that that we have begun and already taken steps to lead us to that being a usable park area. Um, and so, exactly what the disconnect is, I guess, between what you're asking and 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 us moving forward i think maybe there, there's some question of be delineating the property lines um and, and then exactly what can be made a park and what's not i know there was a drawing that you provided me uh and i think there's obviously some question as to what how much of that could be used as a park versus city right away or easement or whatnot and obviously those are questions i can't answer sitting here right now um but i, I do think the plan is and was to to explain what is city and what is not and for that to be made usable for public purposes for certain what shape that takes and whether it's the shape of what you provided me i don't i don't know as i sit here right now i think that's a that's something that's got to be discussed between the the city and single tax as far as what everybody is i guess comfortable do, doing moving forward yeah. I guess it'd be my best way to explain it. Yeah, Jess, I think it, just to be simple, we all agree that that's a, we, we're, we're hoping for that to be parkland. And, and, and once, you know, we can um, establish the borders, I think we'll move forward and we're working on that. Um, we, we, we have all the information. It's like ragu is all in there. We just got to make the sauce. So the, the city is going to establish the boundaries of city property? On the particulars, I would have to get more details to answer your particulars as far as what the city is and what the city is not going to do. Mm -hmm. I'll get with legal, that young man over there, and Mr. Williams before I put that into the public display. But right now, in generalities, what I can tell you is we're looking forward for that to be parkland as well. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. Council President, I will go ahead and give an update, which I've also let Mr. Patterson know that we have sent certified letters to both property owners, letting them know what where the survey is, where the property lines are. Mm -hmm. We also have signs ordered that will probably be installed this week, Richard, that um, we will place two on the property that has a map of the parklands and designating that as park. So people, when they when they enter that area, they're well aware of where the parklands are. So there, that will be installed this week. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. Uh, anybody else on public participation? Welcome. Hello. Big Thanks. smile. I love it. Good spirit. I it's mean, I, I receive it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my name is Lindsay Windham. I'm at 22811 Hillwood Road. Um, kind of new here. I was just wondering, how d would I go about requesting things like crosswalks or walk Traffic. signal signs? Traffic. How do I, who do I call or email? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it for now. That was it? <laughs> That's it? I have, I have more, but I'll, I, It'll go. I think I can just call. <laughs> well, you can talk. If you want to talk, you, you walked all the way up there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got two and a half minutes. There I'll you go. do, I'll ask, um, where can I view the agenda in advance, other than Facebook? Yeah, the, the yes, on, the, on, the, on the city website. Just mm -hmm. on, on the website and on. Mm -hmm. gotcha. yeah, they're like they're published. Hours. They're published every the Thursday before each council meeting in the afternoon. Thursday before. Gotcha. And then, will the medical cannabis license for Fairhope be brought up for reconsideration? 
medical cannabis license. Oh, the, the, disp the, dis the, disp the dispensary. dispensary permit. Dispensary, right. Oh, 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 just the ordinance. Yes. You mean the ordinance? Yeah. Not the license. Yeah, I don't know if it can be at this point. Six months. Six months? Yes, six okay. months. Yes, six months. I just wanted to get on the radar for that. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. And that's it. Thank you. Very rare, but, you, but very you, rare you, that we have questions you know answers for all you, the questions. Right? <laughs> so. You know they're all around you. Dad from the other places, they're 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 around here. Oh yeah, it's not for me. I just it kind of flew under the radar. Well, for whoever is for it, it's it's around us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. No thank you guys. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Any other public participation? Speak now. Got the gap. All right. Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Got a motion to second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Uh, motion carries. Meeting is adjourned. All right. I, I couldn't.